another relationship where conflict ends up with a war, with more emotional and unlogical war, a family law. So that's why I asked psychologist and psychotherapist uh, Madame Montorsi to tell us a little bit of this type of conflicts. Nope, it's not mine. Okay. I don't see my name, but my name is Elena Giulia Montorsi, and uh, I'm very glad to introduce you to, on, to the psychological aspect of family, of family mediation. No? One moment. Okay, here we are. <laughs> like to, you can see, uh, we have a very, very problem during the separation, during the divorce process, because uh, we have a lot of emotion during this, uh, during this period, like uh, anger, grief, uh, loneliness, uh, isolation, fear, revenge, and pride. And uh, as you can see, during a divorce or separation process, uh, the parents uh, um, did not uh, think about uh, their, their children, because uh, this kind of emotion, like revenge and pride, are uh, um, thinking, uh, uh, think it before the the children and uh, the the role of of the children and because uh, they have to think about uh, the future of the children because they are not more a couple but they will still be um, parents for all of their lives and it's very very important that uh, they think about the the children because uh, we have uh, this kind uh, of problem during a separation and uh, a divorce process because uh, uh, no one uh, um, no one think about uh, think about them this uh, this is what uh, happened during the separation or a divorce because the children the children never win in the in this kind of uh, situation and they and uh, during the um, during this process uh, the the children feel uh, denial abandonment uh, anger hostility depression also regression or hyper maturity and they feel blame or guilty they feel guilty that uh, they uh, did something to uh, produce uh, this kind of uh, of results and this is a very very such a um, sad things to, to know because uh, if the parents uh, um, don't do the, the good work uh, very the good work uh, with the, with the kids uh, they could have a problem during adolescence and also during adulthood and uh, they um, will not be good parents uh, because they um, they had uh, very bad parents in during their during their child yeah, sorry during the childhood during the mediation process, uh, you have to ask uh, to your clients uh, if they want to be right uh, or if you want to be happy. Because, uh, of course, as you can... Uh, no? I don't know what, what it's happened, but it's okay. Um, you have to, to ask them if you want to be, to be right or if you want to be, to be happy because uh, in this kind of process, if they want to be right, they don't think about children and uh, don't think about the family at all. And they also think about uh, have right. So they are thinking about uh, uh, home or uh, uh, money or uh, uh, period that they could spend with, uh, with their children. And uh, it's... Uh, uh, a problem because uh, they are only focused on uh, um, on problems. Okay, here we are. They are only focused on uh, on problems and not uh, on the on the solution. And uh, as a mediator, you will have the chance to focus uh, only on the 
solution. Uh, if you want to, to have uh, uh, some advice from the psychological theory, the best theory at all is the positive psychology theory and uh, the appreciative inquiry system that uh, it's uh, also using in the commercial, in the commercial mediation. Um, po um, positive psychological theory, it's focus on uh, uh, the uh, solution and it's very, very important because uh, you uh, could find uh, the uh, bad things in people and of course in husband or in uh, wife and uh, you as a mediator as a family mediator you could uh, um, help uh, the, the parents uh, to find uh, the best solution. You don't have to find the best solution as a mediator. You have to help them to find the best solution together to become uh, a very um, uh, a very good family for their uh, for their children. I think this is uh, the best picture that can uh, explain uh, the mediation approaches for uh, for the family and for the the parents too. As you can see, the two the two donkeys they are against uh, to to each other. But uh, when you can find uh, a solution, they could uh, spend time together and spend uh, the best time uh, as a parents, uh, of course with their children and with the new partners uh, for uh, with the uh, with the two children with the children also uh, as you can see in uh, this um in these slides uh, the mediation uh, process uh, is uh, of course uh, more uh, um, more cheaper and Okay, a more practical, fluent, and uh, and cheaper, and uh, it's uh, something that the w the wife and the husband could manage together uh, with the with the mediator. It's uh, very very um, useful for the for the children uh, for the children too. Um, and sometimes uh, in mediation you could uh, um, you could have the children during the, the mediation process is not uh, not so bad. Uh, I think it's the um, the best uh, age. It's after the uh, eight years old, not before, because they are too so too too younger to to come to to mediation uh, to the mediation process. Uh, as you can see here, if you have a constricting uh, divorce, uh, you could have uh, a very, very good, uh, very good communication. This is the best way to have uh, uh, um, a good relationship, and uh, if uh, you have the the chance to have a good communication with the, with the parents. Uh, uh, sorry, between the the parents, they uh, could. Uh, they could be a happy parents uh, and uh, they could have uh, a good relationship with other parents uh, and with the grandparents too because grandparents uh, sometimes uh, could uh, uh, increase uh, the anger and the bad emotion during the, the separation or divorce process. Uh, in, uh, this is uh, um, a study uh, from uh, the Maryland uh, in the United States and from the uh, Great Britain. In comparison with the families who went to the court, the residential parents of divorcing couples who mediated consistently reported that the non-residential parent discussed problems with them more and participated more in children's discipline grooming, religious training, sport, sports events, special events, school, recreational activities, holidays, and also in, uh, in vacation. So family mediation is very, very important. I in Italy, it's not so common to have, uh, to have um, a family mediation. Uh, they prefer to go to the, to the court and fight for years. Uh, I uh, follow it, uh, a case uh, that the, um, the process during eight years uh, and the, the children were, uh, if I remember right, five years old, and then they are adolescent, and their parents are continuing um, fighting uh, for the houses and, of course, for the, for the money. Um, okay, so mediation improves communication, rules, respect, parental relationship, relationship with children, Relationship with the new partners, it's very, very important to have a good relationship with the, good, with the new partners of the, of the, other, of the other parents. Uh, prevent problems during childhood and uh, adolescent and also adulthood. And uh, uh, the goal uh, at, I think, that I think it's uh, the, the best goal for the mediation process is that one.
okay? To have a happy and happy family and uh, happy children, uh, with also to uh, focus on the psychological aspect uh, during the mediation process in family. Thank you very much.